सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम सो वी वर ऑन यू एच वी थ्री एंड वी वर डूइंग द एक्सरसाइज वन ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल बाय द सेल एंड वी केम अप टू स्टेप सिक्स जस्ट टू क्विकली वी कैप द स्टेप्स दैट वी हैव डन सो फार इन स्टेप वन we asked to just observe the imagination as it is whatever is going on within us just to observe it observe the feelings the thoughts the expectations in the imagination particularly the feeling at any moment in fact we have to do this every moment in step 2 we asked to check if the feeling that i am having at any moment is it naturally acceptable to me or not do i want its continuity or not in step 3 we asked whether the feeling that i am having with that feeling am i comfortable within or uncomfortable within in step 4 we asked who is deciding the feeling that i am having at any moment who is deciding this feeling that is leading to my happiness or unhappiness and we concluded that it is i who is deciding the feeling that i have at any moment so i am the one who is deciding my own happiness or unhappiness at that moment and at every moment in step 5 we ask the question that since it is i who is deciding my feeling and that is the reason for my happiness or unhappiness then what is the basis on which i am deciding the feeling is my feeling based on right understanding or is it based on some assumption in the absence of right understanding we find that if it is based on right understanding that feeling can be definite it can be continuous and it can lead to happiness but if it is based on some assumption in the lack of right understanding then it is not definite whether it will lead to happiness or unhappiness if the assumption is in line with my natural acceptance i will be happy if the assumption is not in line with my natural acceptance i am going to be unhappy and as my assumption changes my feeling also changes so it is not definite it keeps changing so sometimes i may be happy sometimes i may be unhappy and i am not able to ensure this feeling within me so with that we were able to see the need for the right understanding so in 6a step 6a we said that it is important to understand those feelings that are natural for us those feelings that we want in continuity those feelings that are naturally acceptable to us so when we ask those feelings which are naturally acceptable to us we asked is the feeling of relationship naturally acceptable or feeling of opposition and we could all see that it is feeling of relationship of course that is naturally acceptable 
is it feeling of harmony or disharmony that is naturally acceptable and certainly it is the feeling of harmony that is naturally acceptable it is not acceptable to us to have a feeling of disharmony or contradiction within because with that we are unhappy and is it naturally acceptable to have feeling of coexistence or feeling of struggle that also is clear to see that if we are not in comfort when we have this feeling of struggle so it is the feeling of coexistence that is naturally acceptable and that is what i want in continuity so these are the feelings that are naturally acceptable to us the feelings of relationship feelings of harmony and coexistence next slide please therefore in step step 6b we said we need to ensure the right understanding that is we have to ensure this understanding of relationship harmony and coexistence only if i understand it will i truly be able to have that feeling so that essentially means that i have to awaken to the higher activities of contemplation from where i can understand relationship my participation in the relationship i need to understand the harmony through awakening to the activity of understanding so that i can see the self organization the harmony that is there already in every unit and i need to awaken to the activity of realization to realize the coexistence to be able to directly see the coexistence so that we can have our feelings and thoughts in line with that and be in happiness and continuity next slide and so we looked at this that when we are not awakened to the higher activities our feelings are mostly being decided from the outside by our assumptions our preconditionings and by sensation but once we awaken to the higher activities we are able to ensure the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence with them so we had been discussing this yesterday and we had uh, given an assignment to reflect on the need to awaken to these higher activities of contemplation understanding and realization can we at least reflect on the need do we need it or not and the need to ensure naturally acceptable feelings of relationship harmony and coexistence do we need to ensure this feelings or not and we said that the entire day yesterday we were to check if these were the feelings we were having or otherwise especially when there was a difference of opinion with others especially when you felt that the other was disobeying you or misbehaving with you and so on regardless of the event that is happening outside if you refer to your natural acceptance you will find that your natural acceptance is the same question is are we referring to it and we are we aligning to it or not so if you can give your reflections on this or if there are any questions on this content so far then we can discuss that now
any observation with this assignment yesterday? Were we able to observe our feeling? Was it in line with relationship, harmony, coexistence, or was it otherwise? Was it changing? Were we able to see that at one moment we may have one type of feeling and at another moment it may be of different type? All this is something we have to see within. Only when we directly observe within are we going to really come to know? Otherwise, it is just information that somebody else has seen. Uh, namaste, Didi. Namaste, Sadeko. Uh, Didi, my observation is when I sit silently for half an hour, uh, now I can uh, see what thoughts are going on. What are the uh, feeling, uh, feelings exactly? Uh, sometimes I could be able to make out, sometimes I could not be able to make out the feelings or read the feelings. But in interaction with others, every time, whether it is uh, comfortable or uncomfortable, every time I used to notice that what is going on. And uh, uh, for example, if something is uh, not comfortable uh, interaction, that time I I know that it is me who is doing, but could not able to control it. Uh, every time I used to notice, yes, what is things, uh, what is going on. That percentage has improved a lot that uh, in many interaction, I could be able to keep calm myself. But to when in some cases, when it is not, then it is in auto mode. Uh, I could not able to control. I notice it that I'm doing something wrong, but and it will remain for one hour, two or three years like that. What will remain? You mean you keep thinking about it? Ha! Ah, yes, yes, yes. It is uh, uh, that thoughts regarding that will running, running, running like this. Yeah. So the good thing, important thing to also see is that earlier we weren't able to see at all. Ha! Ah, yes, yes. Now at least we are able to see now you're saying that sometimes you're able to remain calm, but a large number of times it happens, even though you know or you you feel you know that you know you need to be calm and all of that. Sometimes it just seems to happen, and you right. thinking about it for two three hours, and yeah, after yeah. these two three hours. You may be able to come out of it. Is that what you are saying? Hi. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. I, uh, I, I tried to say that this is not correct. I should refer my natural acceptance. So uh, I, I tried to see whether I am seeing the relationship with the a person or not. That way, uh, I tried uh, whether I could be able to stop it fast or uh, change my thought process. So after two, three hours, I could be able to uh, calm down. Yeah. So now you see what is happening. This exploration part, somewhere, you know, it strikes you again that I need to Reflect on it. I need to refer, like you said, you know, at some point you feel, no, no, I should be referring to my natural acceptance. This part, you know, otherwise it could have gone on even for days. And perhaps earlier it was that way. Yes. So. Hi. Yes. 
certainly there will be some earlier it was yeah earlier it was yeah yes so now you can see that this process is making a difference for sure isn't it things are still sometimes you know not in line ha huh. yes and still sometimes we are you know after the event we realize or it might take two three hours but then compared to earlier we are in a better position now this you are able to see right as we keep doing this what is going to happen is this point you know that i need to refer to my natural accent this will start happening earlier and earlier i was saying i was saying uh, in the mo uh, morning when i am sitting for half an hour to observe my uh, or analyze my uh, earlier day situations what was it their processes flow in the sense uh, i can observe my thoughts i uh, started with what is the purpose of it then when i try to uh, read my feelings that feeling part i could be able to catch uh, sometimes in some interaction i could be able to make it, what is it but in some cases or uh, i should say 30 40 percent time i could be able to see the feelings but at that time i won't yeah so your question is why you are not able to uh oh, and other the thing is uh, uh which feeling i mean the name of that feeling what uh, what should be this uh, uh, what i'm thinking now or jo, uh, whatever is going on uh, what is that name of the feeling i could not able to name it that's yeah. what i wanted to say yeah yeah so first of all if we think that this is happening very slowly just yeah. reflect on how many lifetimes you must have spent looking outside and now right. how much time you have spent looking inside so it's really not so yeah. slow you no know, if we see things in the right perspective yeah it's not so slow it's in okay. fact very good isn't it yes yes Generations, we have been looking outside. Now we are trying to look inside, and yeah. we are able to do this. Huh. And we are able to see, you know, to some extent, whatever extent we are able to see. But we are able to hmm. see. We are able to look within. Yes. So it takes time. Certainly, it takes practice. It takes time. Second thing that I wanted to mention is, mm -hmm. whenever there is a feeling that. within us that is not naturally acceptable and we are uncomfortable yes that get you know we are able to catch that very quickly why because we are uncomfortable we are unhappy i want we want to get out of it yes so the moment you feel uncomfortable you know that okay this is not the right feeling isn't it yes 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 so when we are interacting with people yeah there also you will see that when your feeling is right you may not notice it but when huh, there is yes. some discomfort yes you pick up right away isn't it ha huh, right yes now when you are sitting by yourself quietly mm -hmm. that moment you know that time half an hour that you spend sitting with yourself yeah you're not interacting with anybody at that time yes yes just with your thoughts yes isn't it so a large yes. percentage of the time first thing in the morning or whenever you are doing you are comfortable you are okay you yeah. may be having not many you know uh, feelings of feelings that are not naturally acceptable so yeah. these are these seem to be more subtle or at least you don't notice them as much ha huh, yes so you feel that even though i am sitting i am not able to see but when i am talking with people uh, i am able to see but what you are seeing largely is those feelings that are causing you discomfort yeah those that are comfortable for you you are not noticing them that is how mm -hmm. 
that is our nature no that's how we yeah, do it. Uh, uh, yes yes because we want things as a whole to be in continuity we want to be in happiness so the moment yes. that we are unhappy that sticks out it is causing us trouble so we want to come out of it yes that when we are comfortable that we don't even notice because it is fine it's like you know when you have a problem in the body you notice that this part of the body but yes. when you don't yes. have a problem in the body you don't notice mm -hmm. that i am healthy i am fine i am healthy i am fine yes you don't notice that but when you have a problem then you say are i have this problem yeah, yeah. we tend to focus on that part which is you know causing us some discomfort yes so that is one thing as you yeah. keep observing you will be able to notice these subtler you know feelings where you are comfortable also and diti one more issue is that okay, when wait, i want there is one okay. more part of the question that you had asked mm -hmm. naming the feeling ha huh, yes so broadly if you see this is what we are saying what is naturally acceptable to us is a feeling of relationship when it comes yes. to your interaction with others mm. no yes yeah feeling of harmony means when you are able to see that things are in a certain self organized manner things are happening that you yeah. you know don't have control over this this is how yeah. it is so you accept it yes no that yes. is harmony so supposing so, it's raining outside yeah and i have to go somewhere yes and i am thinking are this rain is not stopping yeah rain stopped then i could go why it has to rain now okay it's funny all this time now it now this is feeling of disharmony mm -hmm. a non acceptance of what is the state of the weather okay okay so when it comes to interacting with nature and all of these things or even with the body or whatever it is yeah this non acceptance of the way things are this is like a feeling of disharmony mm -hmm. and when it comes to coexistence you know we talked of how all of the units are interrelated how they are all self energized how they are all self organized how they are mm -hmm. recognizing their relationship all of this when i am not able to see it and i see myself as different from the others separate from mm. the others separate from the nature yeah and i am going by my own way without understanding how things are it seems like a struggle okay like you are constantly having to make effort and why do does do i have to do this and why do i have to do that this kind mm. of a struggle where you are not able to see that yeah. every unit is already playing its role oh, yeah yes. and the understanding this when you are not able to see this is like a struggle ha so yes you are either in line with all these or they are not in line with all these right um, right yeah yes now it's clear okay. and diti i could not able to write also when i am observing and when i feel like i tried many times that i should write down what i what is going on um, mm -hmm. that uh, probably since now i can understand it's not very clear so i could not able to write down in the journal that uh, uh, what observations are there probably mm -hmm. now i could do it uh, what you have explained it right now yeah and also you will notice that things are going on very fast within ha huh, yes yes but the body has limitations the body cannot yeah. go as fast yeah so you right. might have uh, 20 thoughts ha huh, right you know the feeling may be changing even 20 times yes but to write down by the time you write this down you are already thinking something else mm hmm isn't it yes 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 so the writing down may not be complete when it comes to what you are observing 
Hmm. Unless you are recalling again and again and writing, and even that you may not recall because you may not have noticed. Hmm. 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 Right. So that's fine. Whatever you notice, whatever you observe, you write it down. Because oh. what you notice also may be according to what is significant for you. Hmm. 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 you can when you write it down then you can see that okay this these are the things that i you know ha huh. was That's looking at if... when you compare it with other times what you have written down mm-hmm. you will notice you know how your feelings have been changing how your yeah. thought process is changing and so on so yes. for analysis part for getting in the habit of observing Mm-hmm. This will be helpful. The writing part. Ha huh, yeah, yeah. Right, right. All right. Thank you, Didi. Thank you so much. Namaste, Didi. Namaste. Uh, Didi, I um, all uh, I'm trying to uh, constantly during the day uh, observe my. Uh, feelings. I'm trying to do that, irrespective of uh, even whether I'm sitting, walking in the office. I I keep looking at it. I'm doing that uh, continuously. I would like to tell you two things that happened. One was a day before yesterday in the college. Um, the the one of the students uh, in the final semesters. Um, uh, after the six out of the sixty students, one student didn't write anything. so well in the exam and i was not able to give him passing marks so i had to i i usually don't give less marks i give more than i just like to give more marks but for this chap i couldn't do anything and i just uh, i don't know somehow i felt that I, there's nothing that i can do and i uh, he failed so his march it came to he came to me and then i start uh, as soon as he came i spoke to him very normally and then i told him that there were two or three questions you didn't even write anything i couldn't give you marks i shouldn't have, this was actually end semester paper i shouldn't have discussed with him because for end semester exams they have to go apply for revaluation and all that but because uh, he all the students keep coming and talking and then i got engaged in talking with him which i shouldn't do so then he went to the director he went to the president and said um, i wrote well those marks and teacher has not given this and that so th- this became uh, an issue but i co- i was constantly watching uh, how i was feeling and i was not even disturbed for a minute because i thought whatever uh, i thought was right at but that point of time and uh, i did and now it's going to go for reevaluation and other teachers somebody will correct and uh, they said we somebody will send it to somebody else and they will uh, put some because everybody is in a feeling that he he should push uh, be pushed through you know student shouldn't be um, hanging so i said fine and then i never director called me and then the examination had called me i was uh i said okay i think i did the mistake of engaging in the discussion which i shouldn't have done i should have told him to directly go and apply for reevaluation and they shouldn't even know that i have corrected so that is my mistake but i was not even for a minute uh out of balance i was constantly observing i was not uh, uh feeling opposition towards anybody not even towards myself the beauty the most beautiful thing is i don't even feel opposition to, towards anybody and not towards myself i'm i'm able to maintain my calm and then this whole uh, episode uh, went off but at the same time another incident um, uh, i have a big uh, money plant tree here and i just opened the door and saw that my husband was cutting the extra um, Uh, growth that the tree had, and I got so furious. I said, "Why do you cut the thing? We can actually tie it, and uh, why should we cut and throw all the green uh, strands?" So I, I reacted so differently, and here I was so calm when when the thing was so bad. Uh, so these things I'm observing, 
these uh, these incidents uh, in every uh, sphere i am trying to see that but the minute i watch then i am able to uh, understand what i am doing so that part i am doing with it nice very nice <laughs> yeah as we keep observing we will be able to notice you know what is significant for us we may react for that much more than those things that are not so worrisome troublesome and so on didi that means only the things for which we are uh, we react is something that we feel as important no um it's not like that see if we have assumed something about anything any mm. reality and it is not in line with mm -hmm. what actually the reality is then yeah. you know i have a different feeling that's mm. it mm. so ultimately i have to understand everything so that i can mm. have the right feeling all the time yes yes but i notice it more when i am hmm. uncomfortable that is what thank you thank you thank you namaste ma'am namaste to all uh, ma'am uh, when i observe yesterday my feeling uh, in the family activity uh, usually uh, whenever we want to do something uh, we are plan uh, uh i put a proposal with my spouse my husband uh he always keep on postponing so uh, in the earlier that that is the one of the resentment uh, i have towards him but still uh, yesterday i told uh, something uh he told that uh, we can do it later i observe my feeling uh, i have a self dialogue yes he is postponing uh that is the one feeling uh, i i uh, uh, that moment i am not uh, uncomfortable i feel unhappy i say myself yes he will do i should not uh, feel like that that is the another uh, one more dialogue i put for myself and uh, another uh, incident uh, i put what the thing what did you conclude yeah. from that yeah ma'am uh, still uh, that precondition is uh, Mm, uh, predominate uh, over that uh, right understanding that uh, i understood ma'am in that okay. the case See, this... when you say even now when you are talking about it what did uh -huh. you say he always keeps postponing uh -huh. isn't it now we uh, have yeah. brought all the past experiences uh -huh. so can we live life in the present mm. moment at that mm. moment can i see things the way they are rather than bring all this past experience into it the moment i bring all that past experience now i'm mm. going only by that past experience so already mm. my feeling is decided mm. by that past experience mm. now mm. if i try to analyze and change my thoughts and all for momentarily maybe mm. i can do it but it will mm -hmm. not sustain of course it will not sustain because i have already assumed that he is this way he he cannot change he is always postponing the moment i have decided this now this mm. is a very strong assumption about the other person yeah. with that assumption i have already you know there is a feeling that mm. is being led by this assumption mm. so that gets uh, activated mm. isn't it this outside thing is just a trigger mm -hmm. you see that yeah ma'am yeah also if i, I can I, see I, I, uh, if i can mm -hmm. see like some people are very mm -hmm. you know the moment mm -hmm. they come to know about something they must act on it then there are others who will mm -hmm. think about it and slowly come to it maybe in the next day or two these are all our tendencies no mm -hmm. so just like yeah yeah like just like it is bothering me that he is postponing it may be bothering him mm -hmm. that she is always like uh, you know what is the need to just rush at it immediately can you see that 
ஜிபிகேஷன் i i am not easily accept uh, as it is that it, that was reduced but still i observe myself uh, i thought to give the justification now uh, nowadays i thought myself yeah i did a mistake yes i should accept uh, that changes i observe uh, in my sanskar ma'am i am earlier i was not accept as it is i know that it is my mistake but i thought to give the justification for that so it it is reducing uh, i observe myself okay see i won't call anything a mistake it is just lack of understanding either i understand or i don't understand isn't it when we label it mistake and this is the right thing that is the wrong thing actually mm-hmm. these are all our own assumptions about things how things should be mm-hmm. isn't it mm-hmm. yeah so there is in the existence there is no right and wrong no mistake no that's how it is so either we understand it or we don't understand it but these are also labels that we put mm-hmm. based on our own assumptions isn't it yeah 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 okay thank you so nice keep exploring yeah ji there are several more hands raised but i think in the interest of time we'll go little further and we can come back to the questions and observations uh particularly if there are questions that we'll take those i think we may not have time for the sharings and observations for today so um those of you who have real questions you can keep your hands raised we try to come back to that those of you who just want to share the observation perhaps we'll do it another day yeah so these are some examples uh to try to understand about what we have been discussing so for example if i have a feeling of relationship then it is naturally acceptable to me but if i have a feeling of opposition for someone even for one moment it is not naturally acceptable to me and i am unhappy at that moment similarly what is naturally acceptable to me is feeling of coexistence so if i have this feeling of struggle this feeling that why i have you know any like i'm finding it difficult or i have to struggle against somebody else is not understanding me this is like this that is like this then i am uncomfortable within it's not naturally acceptable to me i am unhappy now if you look at you know what we may have been you know reading in school and what we are teaching our children and our students life is a struggle and only the fittest survive you know you have to be the best only then can you survive in this world so you must get an a grade or you must be at the top of the class or 
you must do this, you must do that, this is good for you. So a lot of times our own preconditionings we are transferring to the child without understanding. Certainly it is important to be able to make a livelihood. But then if we really understand our needs, we'll see it's not that difficult. You don't have to make it a struggle. Then you have children, you know, struggling in school and by the time they reach college and further, they're already burnt out, what we call burned out. They're tired of this struggle. They're tired of this constant pressure and they just want to get out of it. That is also not naturally acceptable, isn't it? So a lot of times we are working with our preconditionings without really seeing things as they are. But because we think it is the right way, we, you know, continue with that. Next slide, please. Okay, we come to step seven. All right, go back. Yeah. So at this time, let us for 10 minutes, try to observe. Am I having, you know, for all the people that I know, the, all the people that I interact with, all the people that are close to me, do I have a feeling of relationship for them every time, all the time? And you can ask yourself that if you have a feeling of relationship for a particular person, what sort of thoughts will you be having about that person? What will your behavior be like with that person? And when we interact with that person, does it lead to their happiness or not? My happiness, I know, I can see. What about their happiness? So contemplate on this feeling of relationship. For 10 minutes, we'll do that and we'll come back to the questions. So for 10 minutes, I will mute myself. We are going to be reflecting on feeling of relationship for our close ones. Particularly, you know, not just at one time now, but when we had some disturbance, when we had some interaction which was not so pleasant. Where was I having a feeling of relationship at that time? What was my behavior like? What sort of thoughts was I going through? And was it leading to happiness in the other or not? So if you'll just reflect on this, I'll mute myself for 10 minutes. Yes, so we have been observing for about 10 minutes. Ridhi, I have a question. Like uh, <clears throat> during an interaction with one of my colleagues, mm -hmm. so I was you know, getting that feeling of uh, opposition during the interaction. Mm -hmm. But because mm -hmm. I was aware, so I could control that feeling. And you know, I was just thinking that why I am thinking like this about him. Maybe he is actually... Mm -hmm. Right. So is it right to you know, change the feeling like this? Like during the interaction, I am because I am aware, so I am changing my feeling. See, unless you know why you have that feeling, how will you change that feeling? You will change it now. But supposing you have assumed something. Na? Yeah. Supposing you have assumed something about that other person or about how things should be and that is driving your feeling now when you are aware you can say okay you know this is what is naturally acceptable i should have this feeling so now you for now you can have that feeling and that's okay to do but 
if you don't know why you chose that feeling in the first place, again, you will make that choice because that assumption is there somewhere and we are not aware of that. For instance, I'll give an example. Like, we may have this assumption that, you know, children, my child is my, you know, I own my child. My child belongs to me and the child is younger than me and the child must obey me. Now, all these assumptions may be sitting within us. No? With these assumptions, when so if the child disobeys at some point, I get angry, I get upset, I can see I have feeling of opposition. Now I ask myself, at least it's a very good thing that I'm able to see this and I'm able to say, okay, you know, what is the right feeling? What is naturally acceptable to me? And bring that feeling in. But the next time something like this happens, again, the same thing will happen. My feeling is being driven by whatever my assumption is, whatever my sanskar is. That's why it's a sanskar. No, I have been, I have been with that assumption for a long time. So I keep functioning with that assumption. So once I am able to see that, why do I have this feeling? Then I, you know, I become aware of it that this is not right, this assumption that I have. Now, once you directly observe that, now it will drop because you can see that this is not something that I need. Can you see what I'm saying? Yes, yes, Didi. So whenever you have that feeling of opposition, of course, we need to look at the natural acceptance and have the right feeling, but also try to ask yourself, why did I have this feeling? Yeah. Of it, it was because of assumption, I think. Yeah, so that's what, yeah, it will be an assumption, but the assumptions will be different for different people. Yes, yes, it? yes. So if you ask yourself, you know, you are talking to somebody, everything seems fine, but why do I have this assumption? Or why am I having this feeling of opposition right now? If you ask yourself, you might be able to trace back and see what assumption about the other person you may be having that has led to this feeling. Yes, yes. Like sometimes, you know, somebody, there was a past experience that somebody misbehaved. Now, it was only once or twice maybe, but somewhere it is sitting inside us. We haven't let it go. So, next time I see that person, now this person has not done anything to me now, today. But because of that past experience, I'm already harboring a feeling of opposition for this person now. Can you see? Yes, yes, Didi. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.